when you arrive at your hotel and your room is not ready for you, the best thing to do is to go and look for something to eat for lunch. So, hmm, empanadas. After some delicious empanadas, the um, leader of our tour group took us on like a little walking tour through the center of Buenos Aires so that we could see where things were, where we could find the hop on hop off bus, the shopping mall, etc. Um, all to use up some time until we could check into our hotel. Thank you. Peanuts with sugar. Like San Diego in Chile, Buenos Aires is very uh, European um, and quite cosmopolitan. I decided that I was definitely going to do the hop on hop off bus the next morning. Um, I think there's a lot to see and it seems like it's quite a big city. On the walking street there were lots of artists, um, portrait painters, and um, also there was a really nice um, little street market as well that um, had some cool stuff. The room at the two hotel is not too bad. There's a view of the street, some street men working. There's a safe in the air. And the bathroom is okay. Nice big shower, bidet, toilet. Yeah, not bad. Some of us went out for dinner and had huge chunks of meat and others went to a special dinner and tango show. The next uh, morning I headed out to take the hop on hop off bus which I really think um, is good value and especially seeing that the weather had changed from uh, reasonably sunny the day before to um, quite cold with um, a little bit of drizzle and yeah a little bit of an icy wind so sitting on a hop on hop off bus with a canopy on really helped a lot um, I was quite impressed with some of the street art again not quite to the same standard as Valparaiso in um, Chile, but it's it definitely um, brightens up the city. <laughs>
The bus took us through many of the old neighborhoods and um, suburbs in the city and the history that went along um, with it was quite interesting. I definitely highly recommend the hop on hop off bus if you are visiting Buenos Aires because I think it's the easiest way to get to see as much as possible because it's quite a huge city. La Boca is home to the Boca Junior uh, football team and it's a working class neighborhood, very, very brightly colored, everything in the yellow and blue of the Boca Juniors football team. And um, on the tour bus, they said that um, the yellow and blue is because um, they couldn't decide on the colors for the team and someone suggested that the first ship that can, comes into the harbor, the colors of the flag that that ship is flying will be the colors for the uh, Boca Junior team and um, the ship that came in was a Swedish ship so that's why it's the Swedish colors. I don't know how true that is, but that's what they told us. But as you can see, um, the houses are, are quite old and some of them are made with um, like 
corrugated iron that has been painted. Um, so this was the working class um, area next to the original harbour for Buenos Aires. And apparently um, there was quite a large Italian population over here. This was something that quite surprised me because I wasn't expecting at all that Buenos Aires would um, have almost a larger um, Italian base than a Spanish base, even though Spanish is now the, the national language. This hop on hop off bus tour is quite a long one though it takes three hours uh, just for one circuit so you've got to sort of put um, a whole day aside for it and at least you get to see where you might want to go the next day um, yeah the weather sort of deteriorated um, quite a bit but um, I would say that um, this is definitely the way to see in a series I just loved all the tree-lined streets and the many parks that were around and I think the next time because I'm sure there will be a next time for me to go to Buenos Aires I will definitely spend some time exploring some of the parks rather than just driving past them and the Echo Park that's there looks quite interesting to visit. I was quite keen to go to um, the Latin America art gallery as apparently they do have some uh, Frida Kahlo there and I quite like um, Frida Kahlo but the next day the weather was worse and so I decided I'll save that for another visit.
after the hop on hop off bus tour i did, went down a little um, side street looking for some place to have lunch and i found this really cool um, little microbrewery um, not that i had any beer because i don't drink beer i'm more of a cider person and a wine person but it was decorated in quite a funky way and uh, the burger and fries was delicious all over um, Buenos Aires there were lots of protests happening for all different things not many people <laughs> seem to know what the protests were actually for but um, the 48 hours that I was in Buenos Aires I saw them uh, protests in quite a few places in the city but definitely mostly around that um, the pink house then I found this really nice little Italian bistro and they um, gave you complimentary um, butternut soup which was delicious I had like a creamy lasagna and uh, really good and the next morning I was looking for um, a place to explore so on the bus tour I'd seen crowds of people standing outside the Cafe Tortoni so I decided that uh, I would join the queues and stand there to see what there was to see um, beautiful inside and awesome awesome um, cappuccino and sandwich I had there then of course the next day up at the crack of dawn and ready to fly to Iguazu Falls so off for the next adventure if you could like and subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of my next video um, that would be really really good so, see you on the next adventure.